All right, Tragos, what's happening? So this video right now is going to be regarding the Wrestleful show that happened last week in Dagenham, which I said I will be bringing you. So if you've seen the interview with Dark Wolf Matt Walters, then you know that this is coming. If you haven't, go check it out. So anyway, before I get into Wrestlefalls, I need to actually say there's been a bit of breaking news again with WWE. Exciting times. They are actually going to be doing a brand switch, which is fucking awesome, which we've been crying begging for for fucking ages so you're going to have monday night raw and you're going to have tuesday smackdown so instead of it being recorded on a tuesday and shown on a thursday it's actually going to be live on a tuesday in a couple of months time so this is just fucking brilliant exciting times ahead so all this about it's a new era going forward i can't wait hopefully it does actually pull its finger out and they do actually improve themselves only time will tell let's see what happens so the first match up, and this was between the guy who I interviewed, Dark Wolf Matt Walters, against the birthday boy, when it was his birthday on the day, Lewis Lightning Howley. So I'm just going to throw the video in for you now. Hey! Hey! Hey!
So Lewis Howley picks up the win despite Dark Wolf Matt Walters trying to cheat by pushing the referee into the ropes and Lewis landed on his gonads. And he knew what he was doing because he looked at me and gave me a cheeky little smoky grin. So he knew what he was up to. But it didn't matter. Birthday Boy managed to pick up the win with a Macho Man tribute from the top rope down on the elbow. I did try to get a few chants going, you know, despite there being about 12 people there. It was like an Ilford show, really. There just wasn't many people there. But trying to get up for it, I tried my best. A couple of people joined in, but not many. So the next matchup, and this was a tag match, and this was between Ian Frost and Short Fuse, who was a very serious man, Matt Walker, and they was up against Daniel Mills and Alfie Dale. <laughs> He's took a bung, the old ref, ain't he? How much are you paying, you ref?
It's got nice shiny boats. So Alfred Dow is taking an absolute fucking beating here by Short Fuse and Ian Frost. And I'm surprised that he was still managing to stay alive in the ring because he was taking a fucking beating. As you can see, the crowd, it was very quiet. And I mean, that was even coming from myself here. It was hard to get into this match, if being honest with you, I'm not going to lie. Now, I'm a big fan of... Matt Walker, short fuse, and I would like to see him go up against someone actually who can test him, you know, who can actually bring out his best in his ability. Maybe even in a one-on-one, -on -one, not necessarily in a tag. There's still more of this video to be shown. No, he's not going for it. Two! Uh, no, I'm Daniel! <laughs> Frost and Short Fuse managed to pick up the win there. It got a bit confusing because I wasn't too sure who was the legal man at the time because it was all in the ring and the ref wasn't telling him to get out, and, you know, and everything like that. So it's kind of hard to concentrate on that part of the match. But like I said, Ian Frost and Short Fuse managed to pick up the win, and in due respect, they went out in their uh, normal theme music, Bulk and Skull from the Power Rangers. So the next match up on this one, and this was between another favourite of mine. Black Belt Tom Dawkins, and he was up against Gianni Valletti. Now, this is a championship match, and this is for the WrestleForce Heavyweight Championship. Now, Gianni Valletti is the current champion. Now, this title changes so many hands so many times, it's hard to keep up with it. <laughs> Oh, 
Tom, 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 with your helmet.
some. So there you go, Gianni manages to pick up the win despite cheating and the ref blatantly saw that as you could see he's used his helmet to hit Tom over the head and the ref was too busy staring at the belt but then looked up and then looked back at the belt. There you go. But I thought this was a really good match if being honest with you, probably the best match of the night. Both technical wrestlers, very athletic, loads of action going on, one of my favourite matches of the night. So I'm actually going to bring this part to an end here. So this will obviously be part one. I will bring you part two in a bit where I've got one more match and I've got a Royal Rumble for you. And I will show you all of the Royal Rumble. So don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comments below. Follow me on Twitter. It's in the description. So until next time, I will see you later.